Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Hey, I'm going to uh, modify this hitch off of my Rubbermaid trailer today. Um, thought I'd make a video of it. I've been thinking about a solution for this for a while now. And what I'm going to do is uh, probably cut this off. And I'm going to go to Harbor Freight and get a 2-inch hitch coupler. And then I'll, uh, I'll bolt that to this. The problem with my trailer is, obviously, I put weight or wood in the back of it, and then I'm going up and down a steep hill, pulling it with my side-by-side, -side, and then this thing just kind of stretches out, and before you know it, it's not holding on very well. So I thought a uh, better solution would be to just use the hitch ball instead of this. So we're going to cut that off and see if we can make it a little better today. so I picked up this uh, coupler so it's two inch uh, this is only one and a half inches here but that'll be all right because I'll use these use these top bolt holes instead of the side ones and we'll get it put on Alright, that cut off fairly easy with my little grinder. And we'll stick this on here and make a mark where we want it. It's as far back as I can get it. Go ahead and make a center punch here. All right, I'm going to start with a small pilot hole here before I step it up to my 7 16 inch bit. When you're the Yankee and you just got little tools to work with here, check it out. We got a we got a level over here from the vise over to the little drill press. moment of truth on our hitch conversion so I bought uh, some grade 8 inch and a half bolts from well, these are 3 8 inch and a half from tractor supply so throw those on all right hey look at that we got it 
So I think I'll go with just two washers on the back. And then I got a nylock. So we'll get this started and then turn it over, tighten it up. There, guys. Now, hopefully, we have something here that we can work with a little better. All right, here we go, guys. Man, this sure is better than that uh, hitch pin. Look at the range of motion we got with this thing now. So that'll be just beautiful. I'll go put the hitch back on the axle, and we'll give it a try. Guys, I'd like you to let me know what you think of this video. It's just simple, you know, everyday stuff I'm working on. Uh, you know, no big, huge repair or nothing. But thought I'd take you along on it because I enjoy watching these kind of videos. So maybe leave a, a note in the comments if you like seeing these things too. This is something that I probably normally wouldn't have taken a video of. But I thought, why the heck not? Alright, there we have it. We'll hook it up to the side-by-side -side and maybe uh, haul a load of wood. I could park closer, but then what fun would that be? I wouldn't get as much exercise.
All right, guys, so down here at my wood shed, and I need to get all the way up there to the top of the hill. So in order to do that, I made me a little cover for my trailer. Otherwise, all the wood would be laying on the hill by the time I bounce around on the way up there. Okay, let's see if we see up by the house. All right, friends, we made it in one piece, two straps. Guess I need to get busy burning some more firewood. This stuff's been here a while. She's all empty. And now I'm restocked for about 12 to 15 more fires probably. Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your right. I have other content linked for you on the left side. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.